Now to new information from El Cajon, where police say they arrested two men accused of sexually assaulting a minor at this Hotel 6 and recording parts of the encounter. ABC 10 News reporter Austin Gravish is joining us now live from El Cajon. Austin, police say they're looking for more victims. Hi, Kimberly. This is a disturbing story, and it started right here at the motel behind me when a staff member from a nonprofit called PATH reported suspicious circumstances involving one of their homeless clients to El Cajon police. These two convicted sex offenders are behind bars after El Cajon police alleged they had sex with a minor. We're looking for answers just like everybody else. El Cajon's mayor is furious, angry because the Motel 6 room the men allegedly assaulted the minor in was paid for by taxpayers. The nonprofit PATH confirms to ABC 10 News it used county money to pay for 34-year-old Larry Cantrell's room. That's where he and his 70-year-old friend Michael Inman allegedly had sex with the girl. PATH is a nonprofit that works to get people off California streets. It uses county funds to put the homeless in hotels while they work to find housing. The nonprofit says it stands against sexual misconduct. A PATH employee told police that Cantrell said he and his friend had sexual contact with a minor at the motel. Police say Cantrell told the employee he had a recording of the incident. And they say he admitted to having sexual contact with the girl he believed to be a minor. Police say Cantrell asked her about her age and she claimed to be an adult. But they say he still thought she was a minor and had sex with her. Police arrested Inman and say he admitted to engaging in sexual acts with the girl. And say he told them about at least two more underage girls he and Cantrell had sex with during the past week at the motel. El Cajon police say they're still trying to find the girl and confirm her age. They are looking for other victims. The mayor wants to put an end to county funds paying for the homeless to stay in hotels. This program has really, really escalated as far as danger to the to the public and the community as far as I'm concerned. Now I did speak with Motel 6. The company tells me it is fully cooperating with law enforcement and that the safety of its guests as well as its employees is its top priority. Now, as for the mayor here in El Cajon, he is quite fired up and is now planning an emergency meeting tomorrow afternoon at City Hall. He says he has tasked city attorneys with coming up with a way to stop this program that allows taxpayer dollars to pay for homeless people to stay for uh, in hotels in El Cajon. He has tried this before. It will be interesting to see if he is successful. Reporting live in El Cajon, Austin Grabish, ABC 10 News. Much more will come from this story. Thank you, Austin, for that update.